En dan moet er een, een goede structuur onder gelegd worden en geen reality. Nee. Eigenlijk is YouTube eigenlijk al ontwikkeld zich als een soort talentenjacht. Hè? Dat, uh... nou ja, YouTube is in feite een platform waar, waar deze mevrouw het leven bewijs van ja. is. Ja. Uh, uh, alleen, zij is waarschijnlijk dan de uitzondering die de regel bevestigt... dat er meestal daarna niet veel gebeurt. Maar we hebben toch nog een paar, uh, een paar gevonden waar we even naar kijken. Uh, jonge mensen die ja. achter de piano zitten en die uh, er lustig op losspelen. Verbaas je. Ik zou een klassieke talent jacht met kinderen. Ja, de kids. Ja. Is het nou zo, Tijl, kun jij het inschatten? Denk je dat bijvoorbeeld van deze drie uh, jonge kinderen die we net zagen... Dat, dat daar straks over vijf, zeven, negen jaar ook weer iemand hier... hopelijk uh, bij ons in de studio zit en dat we denken... ja, die staat straks in de Royal Albert Hall? Nou, ja, die Emily Bear, dat laatste meisje... Die, die, uh, die is dus door haar ouders uh, even een tijdje bij de oma gedumpt. En daar stond de piano. Kennelijk is ze lang daar geweest bij die oma, want die, die, is, uh, die ging op de, op de zesde uh, ook eigen composities maken. En, uh, en ze is uh, bij, uh, bij Ellen uh, te gast geweest. En daarvan wordt gezegd, dit zou wel eens de, de, nieuwe, de nieuwe Mozart uh, kunnen zijn. Het, het lijkt bijna alsof daar een, een volwassen vrouw in dat, in dat, in dat kleine meisje gepropt ja, dat zit. Dat is eigenlijk ongelooflijk, want niet alleen technisch knap, maar ook echt mooi spelen. Ja, ja, alleen ik vind, wat ik moeilijk vind met kinderen die piano spelen... is dat ze, ze zijn nooit uh, gebroken door de liefde. Ze zijn nooit aan de drank geweest, uh, hoop ik. Uh, ze zijn nooit verlaten. Uh, dus uh, ik zou het ook gek vinden als ik een kind van zes... de rol van Joey Montana uit uh, uh, mm -hmm. Scarface zou zien spelen. Maar <laughs> ah, goed. Dat, dat, ik, ik mis, heb jij dat niet? Want jij hebt er uh, uh, kijk op. Nou, mis ik je vond niet, dat, je... dat meisje dat Bach speelde echt heel goed spelen. Vond ik, en daar, daar kan ik niets van begrijpen, want ze heeft inderdaad niks meegemaakt. Maar je, je voelt wel iets van ziel dan? Ja, de, bij, de, bij dat Bach-stukje wel. Meisje is vijf, hè? Ja. ja. Maar goed, misschien, uh, misschien worden ze dan alleen maar beter. Het zullen toch niet alleen maar ja. katholieke kinderen zijn die ze goed spelen? <laughs> Rockford is home to a young lady with a lot of talent. WTVO Channel 17's Christine Long introduces us to our very own five-year-old piano prodigy. You'd never guess that the talented musician playing these Ebony's and Ivories is such a little lady. Meet Emily Bear. She's only five years old and can play 40 songs by heart. She studies the greatest classical piano composers, but also loves to shake it up and play some jazz. So how does someone this small create such big music? Because it has so much music in my heart. And of course, the help of a special footstool flown in from China to help her reach the pedals. Emily's mom says when Emily was just two years old and still in diapers, she sat down at the family's piano. And simple as that, the child prodigy began to play what she heard. My mom sang lullabies to me and I did in perfect pits. So then I would try and show her little phrases or little parts of music and she'd pick it up like in a second. He saw something right away. I mean, she never sounded like a kid playing. It really makes you believe in reincarnation <laughs> and old souls. Emily formally started piano lessons at the Music Institute in Chicago about a year ago. She's already jammed with jazz legend Ramsey Lewis. It's gone so quickly. She eats music. She absolutely eats it. She loves, she when she gets her teeth into a new or finger into a new piece, she just doesn't let it go till she has it amazing. Always a student to the music, Emily's favorite piece changes from time to time. Every new piece, that's my favorite. <laughs> right now she's beginning to learn the love song, All the Things You Are. But she'll be on to something new very soon. It takes Emily only three days to memorize most songs and throw out the sheet music. And Emily is no one talent gal. She's not only a pistol on the piano, but also a competitive figure skater and an all-around active kid. Play tennis, play basketball, swim. She loves so many things and she just learns things quickly. She's a little bit of a sponge. and She just loves life and loves learning, very happy. So, she just bounces everywhere. She's like Tigger. Even at such a young age, Emily says she already knows her one true lifelong love. Do you want to keep playing the piano? 
Yeah, until I get too old for it. How old is too old for the piano? Like, mm, 89. Now, if you'd like to hear Emily perform live, there's a few opportunities coming up. She'll play a 40-minute solo set on Sunday, July 1st at Ravinia in Highland Park, just outside of Chicago. It's an outdoor venue lauded for presenting world-class music. It starts at noon and admission is free. But if you'd like something closer to home, she's playing here in Rockford tomorrow at the Mendelssohn Club at 11 a.m. and 7 p.m. For more information, go to our website, mystateline.com. Reporting live in the newsroom, Christine Long, WTVO, Channel 17 News. A five-year-old girl is making Rockford proud by playing the piano. We first introduced you to the young prodigy last month. Now we go with Emily Bear as she makes music history. Christine Long has a story. The lines formed early. Thousands of families flocked to the annual Celebration of Summer event at Ravinia Festival to listen to live music. Like the Chicago Youth Symphony Orchestra. But all eyes were on Gordon Hall where a little lady from Rockford was set to make history. This is my first time coming and I, want, I came specifically to see her. We drove all the way from Rockford to see Emily play. When five-year-old Emily Bear took the stage <laughs> and began to play her 30-minute solo set. She joined the likes of Duke Ellington, Janis Joplin, Gershwin, and Yo-Yo Ma. On Sunday, July 1st, Emily Bear became the youngest artist to perform at Ravinia in its 100-year history. When she was just two years old, Emily first sat down at her family's piano and began to play what she heard. And by ear, she'd naturally play pieces in perfect pitch. Emily started taking formal lessons at the Music Institute of Chicago less than a year ago, where she caught the attention of the Ravinia Festival's president. I have been fortunate to see some prodigies play, yes. Uh, I taught piano for many years myself, no one of this caliber. Emily performed 19 pieces from memory at Ravinia, including some classics, some jazz, and a few she composed herself, including one titled Little Angels, which she wrote only three days before. And the audience, which packed the hall, was equally amazed and inspired. I play piano and I don't really like it because my parents come up pushing me and pushing me. She's like inspired me to play more better. I thought she was in sensation. She's absolutely wonderful. I can't imagine what she'll be like at 10. She is just unbelievable. Just, I'm lost for words. She's just an awesome little girl. She's my daughter's friend. And we're just so happy for her and so proud. But proudest of all is mom. I'm really proud of her. I mean, she's just a, a bouncing ball normally. <laughs> And when you put her on the stage, and she's never quite been in this kind of a situation before, and the composure, the focus, and that she was able to let her heart out and let the people hear her heart through the music. And there's an opportunity close to the home to catch a live performance. Emily will play September 1st at On the Waterfront.
what I'm saying? <laughs> Emily Bear. Emily Bear. Baby, please sneeze. Emily, take a bow, honey. Big bow. Big, big, big bow. The please please. Emily Bear. <laughs> I think you know what I'm talking about now. The global gumbo. And they do not play, none of them. 